Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Carpenter. Welcome to music class. Today, one of the main things that we are going to do is to learn how to use our new Quaver account. I'm really excited because finally everybody has access to Quaver through Clever. Try and say that five times fast. Quaver through Clever, Quaver through, it's kind of tough. So we're gonna walk through how to get to your Quaver account and what to do once you get on there, okay? So here we go. According to your teachers, you already know how to log into Clever, but let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is click on where it says, log in as a student. After that, the next page will come up and here you'll log in with Active Directory. And the HISD single sign-on page will come up. This is where you're going to sign in with your student number and your birthday as your password. That will bring you to your home page on Clever. It will look a little bit like what's up on the screen. You'll probably have to scroll down until you find the Quaver icon. Go ahead and click on that, and Quaver will ask you, have you visited quavermusic.com before? Even if you have used it, say no. Once you log in through Clever, you will get to a screen that looks kind of like this. It's your student dashboard. Um, your avatar will look blank though because um, you have the opportunity to update your own avatar. Let's go ahead and start with assignments. So I'm going to click up here where it says assignment and it will take me to my assignment page. Now for this class, which you can see right here, I just called my test class, I've given all different sorts of assignments and some of them are incomplete. So the red, ones that are in red are incomplete. Some, no, I don't have any that I've submitted. And then I have two that I have um, gotten a grade for them. So if I review lines and spaces, it tells me that on that quiz, I got an 80, okay? So when you are on this assignment page, this is where you're gonna do your work. And when I say work, sometimes the work is playing games so that you can better understand something we talked about in class. All right, I went ahead and clicked on the first grade beat lesson. If you are in first grade and you are watching this right now, that is something that I will want you to do after you've watched this video. So now I'm gonna launch it and it will come up with whatever the first screen is. In this case, it's the Welcome to Music song, okay? Um, when you're by yourself, if you want to listen to this, that's great. If not, then you can skip by it. There's two different ways to go through the lesson. The first way is by using the arrow keys, the next key and the previous key. So if I go to next, it'll take me to the next thing which is the song Organize, Prioritize. And so you can go through it that way. The other way you can go through the lesson, if you know that you wanna to get to a certain point in the lesson, is you can, I don't want that word, you can hit the menu down here and it comes up. So let's say I wanna go all the way to the beat bounce activity, which is a lot of fun. I just click on that and now I can play Beat bounce, which is pretty fun. I'll just And this one, you have to figure out who is bouncing along with the beat, and it happens to be that guy. Okay, so that is pretty much how you're gonna go through the lesson. Uh, there may be a quiz, let's see, this one does have the beat quirky quiz. That would be the area that would be graded on the quiz. Sometimes I'll have something that'll just say um, exit ticket. And if it's an exit ticket, it might be one or two questions that you need to answer to prove to me that you did the lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I'm done with my quiz and I am going to hit the exit button. 
and it'll take me back to the assignment screen. And now I'm going to go back to my student dashboard. All right, so that's how we're going to do assignments. Even once we're back in person, I'm going to have you do assignments using Quaver. Uh, we are not going to be using a lot of paper and pencil. We're not going to be able to do a lot of singing together. And so we will be doing activities using your own Quaver account. There are some other cool things that you can do on your own. Um, I'm going to just go right to the creatives. There are a lot of really fun things to do in creatives. You can create your own music with a lot of these. And what I would recommend is that you just go ahead and click on one. In fact, I'll just click on this backbeat light. Um, this is like you have a drum set. Okay, so you can just play around with any of those you want. Um, I may at some point ask you to do an assignment using one of those. Okay, there are some other student interactives. If you are a recorder student, there's some things on recorders. There is a xylophone section. They call it the ORF library where you can get to a lot of different types of, they're called barred instruments. Okay, uh, let's go back. All right, there are some things on being a guitar player. If you look here, there are lots of different categories. So I'm going to exit out of student interactives and it brings me back to this page. Um, there are Quaver books about different types of music. And sometimes I will assign a Quaver book. Let me exit back out of that. And we'll go to Quaver Street. There are lots of fun things to do on Quaver Street. You can use this keyboard you can go into the music room explore the lab again this is a spot where you can come in here and play around and see what you can see this is also where you go to update your avatar i have already updated mine you just click on it and it gives you options to update it now there are some things that you can change on it I'm going to call it for free. And when I say free, I don't really mean money. There are these things called Quaver Notes. In fact, I will give you a way to earn some Quaver Notes from me. I'll probably tell you that in class, how you're going to earn Quaver Notes. Um, you plug in the Quaver Notes, and then it gives you kind of like you have some money to update your avatar. Let's go back. I'm on the student dashboard right here where it says enter a code if I give you a quaver code that is where you will enter it so that is how you are going to use your quaver account again basically you need to know how to sign in and then once you get to the student dashboard know how to do assignments and again it's super simple you just click on the assignment that shows up for your class and then go through it and, and complete it. All right, that is it, guys. It's super simple. And as Quaver always says, boom, chicka, boom.